damn i just went from moving like this to moving like this hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Bunga. if you didn't know if you're not a subscriber go ahead and hit that button subscribe to my channel and become a ninja because it's lit over here okay did you just get your hair done, your braids, your faux locks, your faux butterfly locks? They look beautiful, but your head is throbbing. Are you in so much pain that when you lay down to sleep, it hurts and it wakes you out your sleep? Is your head so tight that you can't put it up in a ponytail? Are you currently contemplating taking those braids out, taking those faux locks out, even though you spent a good amount of money on them and they're cute but your head is about to explode <sighs> I'm here to tell you that you've come to the right place because sis I found an instant reliever that will help you out trust me if you want to know how to relieve that pain keep on watching you are gonna want to know this sis. okay y'all so we here because we basically in the same boat I got my hair done about three days ago and when I first got it done I was this close to taking it out because sis my head was about to explode I'm already tender headed so when I get braids or anything done to my hair even if the person does it like braid super loose my hair is guaranteed to hurt the next few days that's just how I am period my stylist know to braid lightly but I went to a new stylist this time and I didn't tell her because I'm like I don't know why I didn't tell her, but she twisted when I tell her. <laughs> they were so tight, I was to the point of tears. I took a pain reliever, I went in the shower, I steamed the bathroom to steam my head. Nothing worked. Yes, I found the reliever. Y'all, this is instant relief. And it's not only instant relief for tightness, soreness, throbbing, all of that. It's for itching too because, you know, after the tightness stage, right after the tightness stage, you know, you get that itchy stage when your head just itch. And it also relieves the itchiness. So, let's just get straight into it. This is supposed to be a quick video. I don't want to talk your brains off because you're here for a reason. I just want to give you what you came here for. First thing first, you're going to need a little water bottle like so. You get this from the dollar store, your hair store, beauty supply store, anything like that. Mine all bent up. <laughs> the ghetto. Um, and then you want to, I already have product in here because I've been doing this since I found out this trick. I've been doing it every um, day. I don't think I need it anymore because of my, I think my braids are pretty loose now and they don't hurt anymore. So I don't really need it anymore. Uh, but I like the way it feels, so I'm still going to do it like once a day or so. Um, so you need a bottle like this, and then you want to fill it up with warm water. Um, I don't know, you sh don't have to fill it up, but you can do it like halfway with warm water. Um, not too hot and not too cold because you're probably going to use the same solution over the next couple of days and it's going to get room temperature anyway. You're going to leave it out. So after that, you want to put a few drops of leave-in conditioner in here so with leave-in conditioner you can use any type of leave-in conditioner that you want to like the normal kind um i use this leave-in conditioner because i feel like with a regular leave-in conditioner it can it's prone for buildup. like if you're spraying a conditioner on your uh, in your hair that is more likely for you to get build up so I prefer this liquid kind and I just unscrew it like this and then I just pour it a few drops into here um and this smells it smells so good put a few drops of peppermint oil yes y'all already know peppermint oil is already good for like dandruff dry scalp all of that um, I don't know what it is, but put a few drops of this in here. So you got your water, you got your leave-in conditioner, you got your peppermint oil. You can get this from like the grocery, the market, like uh, like Trader Joe's or something, or the hair store, uh, beauty supply store, blah blah blah. You get this from there. Put a few drops of this in here, and then you also want to get your tea tree oil. You see that? 
and put a few drops of the tea tree oil in here and you know tea tree oil is good for freaking everything okay like i used to use a combination for my skin when my skin broke up really broke out really bad and tea tree oil was the goat but yeah so you put a few drops of this in there so you got your hot your warm water you got your peppermint oil your tea tree oil and your leave-in conditioner you put it in the bottle shake 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 so we're a little closer so your hair is tender so you just want to be careful with this part and like just move the braids to the side and you take your mixture and just spray it directly on your scalp you don't want to spray the hair too much because it could cause um your hair to frizz earlier um frizz sooner so you want to try to get it directly onto your scalp and just spray And like the first, when I did this the first time when my hair was like in the pain, I couldn't even move these. I was like this. Yo, be careful with this because sis, if you spray this in your eye, you're done for. You're done for. Like do not spray this in your eye. Trust me, it hurts. And I'm telling you this by experience. It's not a good look. Be careful with this. My ass was like, Ksh. I was on super value, okay? You want to spray every inch of your scalp and focus it on the part. Mine was hurting a lot in the middle. Like, it wasn't even my edges that was hurting for the most part. It was the, it was the middle. Now you just want to take your fingertips and don't do it too hard because, you know, your head is going to be hurt. Your head is hurting right now, so don't do it too hard. And just give your scalp a massage, like a scalp massage. Oh, so good. Yes. I hope nobody walk in here because they're going to be thinking I'm playing with myself. The way I'm up here moaning. I'm going to start feeling the tingling sensation from the peppermint oil and the tea tree oil. And it feels so good. That's the best part. And it tingles for like a minute it tingles for a minute after you use after it starts and some people don't like that feeling but i love it like for my scalp to tingle that feels so good to me and then i'm extra so i also go in with my leave-in conditioner because it smells good and if you're using this in the daytime you go out you're going to be smelling like tea tree or your peppermint oil just to let you know so i would if you don't mind go for it but if you care um i would recommend using it at night when i first got my hair done i did it in the daytime and the nighttime so in the daytime i sprayed this too because it like it lessened the smell of the tea tree oil and peppermint oil but y'all yeah, the um tree oil is a mosquito repe repellent and I went outside and I usually get like bit up in my backyard when um, me and my husband go out there to like hang out and it really worked because I didn't get not one mosquito bite that's it and that's all and I'm telling you it's gonna be instant relief thank me later comment below if this worked for you because I really want to know like I wouldn't know I'm not going crazy because my head was about to explode and then I did this and I was just flipping my head like it was nothing. I was like, damn, I just went from moving like this to moving like this and flipping my hair. And this video was helpful you helpful for you. I hope that you never have to go through braid pain again. If this video was helpful to you, give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you like my content because we have fun over here. And that's what I like to do the most on my channel, share information. I learned something, you gonna learn it. You gonna know it too, sis. Um, again, subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And thank you all for watching. My hair look crazy right now. Y'all gonna let me do my outro with my hair just sticking up. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye.